Did you know more than 80% of people brush their teeth the wrong way? And the wild part is, they honestly think they're doing it right. Today we're clearing that up. I'm walking you through the five biggest brushing mistakes I see all the time. And mistake number four, that's the one almost everyone gets wrong, so stick around for that part. All right, let's start with the most common one, using a hard bristle toothbrush. A lot of people still believe stiffer bristles mean a deeper clean. It feels satisfying, right? Like you're really scrubbing things off. But that pressure is doing more harm than good. Hard bristles act like sandpaper. Over time, they wear away enamel, and once enamel's gone, that's it. It's like scratching your phone screen. You can't undo it. A hard bristle brush also pushes your gums back, which leads to sensitivity and gum recession. That's why so many people say, my gums bleed when I brush, or my teeth feel sore. If that's you, swap the brush. Go with a soft bristle one, use gentle pressure, think polishing, not scrubbing grout out of tile. Your teeth aren't dirty dishes, they just need a light touch. Now the next mistake is brushing for too short a time. Studies show most of us brush for only about 30 to 45 seconds. The recommendation is two minutes. So we're cutting that time in half without realizing it. Here's the issue. Plaque doesn't disappear the second your toothbrush touches it. It needs time and repetition. When you rush, you leave residue that turns into cavities, gum inflammation, and bad breath. Picture this. You wouldn't wash half your dishes and call them clean. Brushing fast is the same idea. It feels done, but it's not. To fix that, try a timer or an electric brush that buzzes every 30 seconds. Break your mouth into four sections and give each one half a minute. Two minutes flies by when you do it that way, and every tooth gets a fair shot. While we're talking technique, let's look at another habit, how you angle the brush. Most people hold it straight up and down or scrub side to side. Sounds fine, but that misses the gum line, where bacteria love to hide. That's the area that builds plaque first. The simple tweak is to tilt the brush about 45 degrees toward your gums. Imagine you're sweeping dust off the edge of a countertop, just enough angle to catch the edge. Use small circles, not big scrubbing lines. Getting that angle right means healthier gums, less plaque, and much smoother dental cleanings later. Okay, you've been waiting for this one. Mistake number four. This surprises even people who take great care of their teeth. You finish your coffee or maybe some juice and think, let me brush right away before it stains my teeth or leaves sugar sitting on them. Totally makes sense, but it backfires. Drinks like coffee, soda, wine, or anything citrusy make your mouth more acidic for a while. Even sweet foods do it as your mouth breaks them down. That acid softens your enamel temporarily. So brushing right after basically scrubs that softened layer away. A better move is to rinse with water first, then wait around 30 minutes before brushing. That short break lets saliva neutralize the acid and harden the enamel again. You're giving your teeth a reset before you clean them. And if you're worried about stains, rinsing right away still helps. Just hold off on brushing until that enamel's had a chance to recover. All right, last one. And honestly, this can be a total game changer. Using a manual toothbrush when there's better technology available. Electric brushes move thousands of times per minute, way more consistent than your hand ever could. They're basically tiny power washers for your teeth. Research even shows that people with gingivitis who switch to an electric brush see their gums return to health in about two weeks. Those who stick with a manual brush, no matter how careful, don't get quite the same results. Think about it like this. Using a manual brush today is a bit like carrying a flip phone while everyone else has a smartphone. Sure, it still works, but it's slower, less efficient, and you miss out on features that make life easier. And if you keep using the old tool, don't be shocked when you spend more time and money at the dentist. Just remember, not every electric brush is equal. The cheap battery ones often don't move fast enough. If you can, go for a solid rechargeable model. Even the top versions, around 250 or 300 bucks, cost less than a couple of fillings or an extraction. And that's not counting lost time sitting in the chair. So if you're serious about keeping your smile healthy, an electric brush is one upgrade you won't regret. And that's it, the five brushing mistakes that quietly wear down your teeth over time. 
If you realized you've been doing one or two of these, don't worry. They're all easy fixes, and your mouth will thank you for catching them early. If this made you think about your own brushing habits, chances are someone you know could use it too. Share it with them. You might save them from a few extra dental visits. If you found this helpful, hit like and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. And if there's something you've always wondered about with your teeth, leave it in the comments. I might cover it next time. I'm Dr. Foxy. Thanks for listening.